rain today. I checked. I don't want to be out here when it rains like that. Lightning! No, no! Not a storm! Can't see a damn thing! What am I going to do? Oh my god, I can't do this! this, Riley. Now, how do I get out of this mess? This is useless. I can't tie up the boat now. No! I'm going to die! I can't be out here. Not on my own. There. Is that land? God, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shit! This can't be happening! No, 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 no! Not the rocks! No! Damn it! This was a mistake! Get me out of here! Somebody! What is this? What is she doing? What is that sound? What is that? Hello? Focus, right? It's just the wind. Buy some water. I have to moor. Somewhere. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Anybody there? Wait. God. It's a voice. You can hear me? No. It's not real. Can you hear me? It's the wind. Hey. Can you hear me? It's the wind, Riley. sealed a book before? Stop it. You have to turn off the engine. It's not real. Yeah, I know. It's the wind. Turn that key. Cut the engine. All right. Well done. No, drop the anchor. Right here. Why would I do You'll that? You'll crash the boat. You'll drown. The pier can. The pier will wreck your hull. Then what do I do? You have to secure the boat. Drop the anchor. Good. You did good. You'll be fine now. I am not fine. You have to stop this. Stop what? Talking. You have to stop talking. Understood. It's fine. Thank you. so beautiful from here. You should go. I decide my own fate. I'm living my life. That was the plan after all. So yes, be a devil. Let's check our backpack. I've no desire to get stranded without food or water. Never leave without your music. It's soul food. Can't starve, right? Taking that with me. I am sketching the entire journey after all. Awesome. The beer made it through the storm. I can celebrate later.
Why are these islands not on here? Great. Out of coffee. This damn relic must be broken. Because that weather wasn't fair! I kind of wish you were here, Marshal. Could have gone exploring together. Marshal. I'm doing it. Deciding my own fate. And will you look at all this? So beautiful out here. Wish you were here. Sunny greetings from... a far-off place. The Rogue Islands. I was afraid of this. What do you mean? I was hoping last night hadn't really happened. That I was losing it. You hoped you were hearing things that weren't there? Better than hearing them again. You need to leave. Why? Because you're not real. But I am, Riley. I've decided you are not. And don't ever say my name. Ever again. You know what? Just shut up. That building. Interesting. The only one to survive. here. Did they all honestly leave? Can I speak to you now? Maybe. Oh. Wonderful. There's so much I want to ask you. So much I don't know yet, or I've forgotten. I said maybe. Don't get carried away. It's been way too long since I got to talk to anyone. I understand that, but I will lose my mind if you don't. Please, just talk to me. That's it. I'm blocking you. You're spam. Spam? What's spam? This place. This silence is piercing. What happened here? I don't know. I don't remember. Nothing? Not a single thing. You never taught me your name. Josh. My name's Josh. What a pretty little cottage, right out of a country magazine. What do you know about it? I don't remember. I'm sorry. Let's see. Seriously? <laughs> Piccalilli is as far as I go. You'd eat it if you were here in the winter time. Why? Bath salts. Oils. Desserts. I love roses. No more fairies after 1980. Why did this Margot never open a letter? Maybe she never knew it was here.
do you think it's them that lived here? Maybe. Definitely the home of a photographer. She's beautiful, but she looks so sad. So, what do you think about the cabin? I don't know. I need to have an opinion. Did you read the letter? I did. Why did Carrie write Margot a letter? She felt guilty about leaving her. How do you know that? Because that's what she told Margot. What are you saying? I heard her say it. I was there. This is great. You knew her. I can't believe I forgot. But now you remember. Like she'd always been there. Somewhere in the back. And now she's taken a step forward. Into the light. Something must have triggered it. The photographs. No. It was talking about it that did it. Just talk to me then. It helps. I upset you, didn't I? Blowing in like this. It was the storm that upset me, not you. Yeah, that was sudden and unexpected. That just came out of nowhere, didn't it? I wasn't really fully aware of the circumstances, but... Oh my, you talk a lot, don't you? I'm going to warn you up front. I'm not very good with people. Well, technically, I'm not people. I'm a ghost. But I used to be. People. A person. Once upon a time. <sighs> Look, there's a reason I got on that boat and sailed away. Yeah? Why? Tell me. I don't like people. <laughs> I don't believe that for a minute. You are a lot to handle. I like it here. I feel strangely at ease. Is that a weird thing to say? No, not at all. I like it here too. What's this place called? The Rogue Islands. I've gone rogue, haven't I? You might. Just the place for me. Josh. Yes? Oh, no, sorry. I was just saying your name. Out loud. Why? To see if I sound like a crazy person. Then again, define crazy, right? By my definition, you're not crazy. How can you be sure? Questioning your sanity would be to dismiss my whole existence. That's deep. I love this. So dedicated. He must have been an excellent cook. Addressed to Terence. Then this was his home. I'm sure I could make a mean pizza in here. Oh, I miss pizza. What's pizza? Don't worry about it. Look at these shells. There's so many. Boats, 
Oh, boats. Spending my days baking? I'd sign up for that. You cook, then? Actually, no. I make brilliant scrambled eggs, though. Also, I was told... By who? My mom. When I was 12. Those shells were pretty. You thought they were ordinary? Yes. Doesn't mean they're not pretty. So, ordinary can be pretty? Yes. It's the little things that count. Cordelia. Mm, I don't like that name. Is this a letter? In a tin can? What does it say? Fifteenth of February, 1921. My dear little Elphins, the more I learn about the Crown family, the more I realize what wolves they were. As I've mentioned, the Crowns owned this island back in its heyday, but they were a haughty bunch and they took much more than they gave. But as I write these words cursing the Crown family, I realize that perhaps I am no better. True, I never owned an island, but like the crowns, I didn't value life as I should. I don't think man is made to recover from war. Once he has seen such horrors, how can he pretend they don't exist? I miss you all dearly and hope to find my way home to you soon. Your father. I'd love to see the world. You will. What's that engraving there? For Beatrice. Cordelia Crine. Haven't seen her in a while. She was nobility, and a big deal right here. And that must be where the money came from. Aye, they own the Rogue Islands. Beatrice Parker. Headmistress, I guess? And this must have been her office. It's locked. Where's the key? And what do we have here? Yeah, that's them, all right. Cordelia Crine and Nora Crine. Did you go to school there? I can read and write, but I didn't learn it at the school. I vaguely remember a village, an open fire, the smell of beer, and a man's voice teaching me how to read from a really thick book. Oh god, what's that? What? That! What are you waiting for? All right, I'm going.
Hello. Oh, God. This is going to sound silly, but my friend, he, um... You can't be. I'm sorry. Why are you here? Oh, I don't know. I didn't mean to be here. I don't understand. I don't understand either. No, don't go! <laughs> well, that was rude. Who was that? Was that a ghost? Is that a tinge of fear I detect there? Well, I I've never seen a ghost before. Uh, you are a ghost. Well, I can't see me, can I? Honestly. Oh my god, Josh. I'm so jealous. Is this where you've been hanging around? Well, it's an island. Uh, three, actually. So, plenty of beaches to go around. Well, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Sure, it's beautiful. No, a flower is beautiful. This place is... extremely, absolutely, utterly... This house... it means something. Ethel. She lost her entire family to the fever. The tricks life plays on us. I'm sorry. Ugh. This is the freakiest doll I've ever seen. Have a little respect. That is a beautiful doll. Is this actually a football? It looks ancient. Back at the school, you said you wanted to travel, and you sounded sad. I'm not sad. What about your dream to travel? I used to think I was going to dance around the world, on every continent, in every country. I'd go and hug the land wherever I wanted to go, and dance in honor of it. I think that's cute. You don't think that anymore? Of course I don't. Why? Wait, do you hear that? No, what? <laughs> Why can't you hear it? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, fuck. What's that? on, honey. I want to drink this tea while it's still hot. Mom, did you know that Rebecca from the grocery store has seen a will-o'-wisp? Has she? Have you ever seen one? No. Cheese or haddock sandwich? Cheese, please. Just maybe Daddy's turn into one. A, a will-o'-wisp, I mean. Now you know that's not true. Daddy left. I know it's hard. But we have to accept this it. This maybe is all. I asked Miss Jessup about will-o'-wisps, but she said they're poppycock. She said there are no such things as ghosts who drift along the marshes. And the sooner I let go of such romantic notions, the better. <laughs> oh, well, she might be right about that one.
Riley. Riley! Are you okay? What the hell just happened? I'm not sure. I mean, you saw it too, right? I did. Was it real? I've never seen anything like it. I do remember that little girl, though. Pixie. Pixie. Always running around the islands looking for adventures. Discovering new clues to grand mysteries. Her words, not mine. Dad abandoned her. You saw that, right? I did. Who does that? I wish my dad had left. Tell me about your dad. He was a brute. How so? I don't remember much. Just as... vile. He was horrible. There was an epidemic. The fever. That's what killed Ethel's entire family. Must have been a nightmare. A graveyard. We need to investigate this. You're a detective, now. Oh, stop it. You know, the names, the dates. We should take a look. Archie, that sounds so sweet. I have left the troubled ocean. That doesn't sound so sweet. Crown. Doesn't that sound vaguely familiar to you? It does. Her name was in that newspaper article we found back at the school. Cordelia Crown. We know all about her. Scruff. Died in 1944. That's late. Who's it from? Pixie. The little girl? I guess she grew up. Father Thomas. That's the priest that taught me to read. Cordelia Crown. Died in 1833. We already knew that. Cordelia Crown. Oh. What? What does it say? Did she come to the priest? Shh. Trying to read, Josh. Is that a cassette tape? No way. A what? Oh, I want to hear this. I am such a silly goose sometimes. I thought the evil spirit wouldn't follow me into a church. Shut up! Maybe I've seen too many movies. God, if you're listening, the spirit is evil. Hear me? Evil. Yes, I'm talking about you. I hear him all the time. Sometimes I wish I had gone back with the others. At least I could have talked to a psychiatrist or something. Now it's just me and him. Stop! 
these people you talk about, they've been dead for so long. Why does it matter? I don't understand any of it. I don't care about Cordelia Crown or why she thought she needed to confess. I want a bit of peace in my head. Yes, you gave me Seabrook, but you want me to stay on that beach forever. But why? Yes, I'm listening. Father Thomas, yes. He's the one that taught you to read, I remember. So he was here when it all happened. Was she talking to you? Not as far as I know. Father Thomas. You think he knew me? Maybe he taught you how to read. This is about Beatrice, from the school, a cornerstone of this community. I'm glad we're out of there. You don't like churches? I don't like graveyards, especially. Keep thinking about what Pixie wrote. Such sorrow. That irreparable loss. Have you ever felt it? Not in my personal experience. Unless I've forgotten. Nora felt it too. She never got over losing that guy. It tears up my heart. Why is it we can't get away from that pain? Nora. She's Pixie's mum. Are you frowning? No, I'm not frowning. I can't tell if you're annoyed. I can't see your face. I'm not annoyed. It's my head. You're talking at full volume here, and I can't turn you off. And don't say you're sorry. They say that when you're still and you listen, you can hear your soul. They do? They do. Josh, are you my soul talking to me? You don't think I'm real? Maybe you're some dark shadow I keep hidden away. I'm not dark. It's just not normal. What if I'm going crazy? You're not crazy, Riley. You're exceptional. 